Hi, this is Nick and I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to take a look at a ferrocene project. We are going to be reducing the file size. This is going to do two things for us. Number one, it's going to reduce the weight of the project uh, in its actual file sizes. And second, it can actually reduce some of the noise that are in some of the actual scans. Uh, you might have uh, scanned a project, maybe a pump room, or, or if you're scanning piping and you're starting to see some noise that's coming off the sides of the corners uh, and the edges, this can reduce that as well. So we have a project here that is already registered, put together. This can be done whether the project is registered or not. And we'll show you how real quickly here. So we've got... A handful of scans and in order to create a, a compressed file we're simply going to uh, right click on one of the files we'll go to new down to scan so a new scan is going to give us an option once it loads and here's our noise compression so we can go two to one we can go to four to one in my experience two to one is generally plenty Once this is done, we're now creating a new scan file from the 0.002 scan to give it a new, it's actually a new name, it's a new file, it's the 002.1. So let's just take a look at the original file and we'll look at a couple of the edges on some of the piping and some of the uh, metal work here and see if we can show you any kind of difference between the two. Now, if we're going to just grab a section here. All right, just look good. But then again, let's take a look at our 0.1 version. If you're curious about the coverage, let's just take a look and see what it looks like. You can see that the actual coverage to the naked eye doesn't look any different. Our edges are crisp. The coverage is good. And you can just by moving the scan around almost feel that it's lighter. It's quicker. Now that being said, Let's look at the actual file size. The original file size is between 70 and 77,000. That particular file, number two, is about 74,500. We will need to just quickly, uh, quickly save this. We'll give ourselves another look at the different revision here. It's gone down to about 26 and a half thousand. So it's a significant reduction in the file size. We can see that the coverage is still excellent. Our edges are as good or better as they were before. Now, when this is done, you are obviously going to have a group of scans that are not registered. As you can see, just by creating the point one version, we no longer have a, uh, an acceptable scan manager from it went from yellow to red. What we would need to do then 
if we're going to keep both versions of the scans, we would simply create another cluster and we would register the point ones and we would just update the scan manager of the originals. Many times you may want to just create a new project uh, with just the point one versions in it and you've got a much lighter project for that particular room. You may want to eliminate the original files in your project and then just leave the point one versions so you've got a much lighter project overall. It's up to you. It's been my experience that I do not get a uh, less successful registration by using the compressed files. So uh, it is one way that I've found to reduce my file size, my file weight. Uh, there's other ways when you're exporting your project, exporting uh, files versus uh, projects, the project is going to be lighter as well. So uh, I hope this helps. If you've got any questions or any ideas on a uh, new topic that you'd like us to go over, please let us know. But either way, good luck on your next project.